Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Road to the Philippines. Uh, I just got through finishing my workout. And uh, like I mentioned before, you know, anytime fitness, that's where I work out right now. Mainly because at uh, Genesis over in Lee Summit, Makes you wear a damn mask. And, uh, yeah, I don't like having to do that. And if you see, there's, I mean, there's not that many people in this gym. So it's not like, you know, the place is just crawling, crawling with the coronavirus for crying out loud. But, uh, <clears throat> but yeah, uh, I just didn't like the idea of having to wear a damn mask while I was on the damn treadmill. Um, and you don't have to wear a mask in there at all. You know, actually at, uh, you know, actually at, uh, Genesis, you didn't have to wear a, a mask except for whenever you first, you know, except for whenever you first checked in. I mean, I thought that was kind of stupid. You know, you have to wear a mask going into the facility, but once you got inside, it, you know, it was optional whether or not you know, you want to wear a damn mask or not. And what, you know, and I, I didn't, you know, but you know, I mean, that's probably where I got the coronavirus from originally last, you know, in uh, October, but, <laughs> last month. But, uh, but yeah, <clears throat> but yeah, this is where I work out now, you know, as you can see, those guys, you know, they're not wearing, they're not wearing a freaking mask, you know. Yeah, you don't have to wear one. But, uh, let me back out of here before I start talking, yakking some more. Uh, damn, it's hot in here. Let me roll down my damn windows. Oh, <clears throat> yeah, 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 I'm not gonna wear no damn mask in there, that's bullshit, especially when you, uh, especially when you, you know, you're on the treadmill and you're sweating like you're sweating your ass off, you know, wearing a mask is pretty freaking nasty, because that sweat just accumulates in your mask, you know, you know, and then there, there's the, the mask police, Walking around the gym, telling you, "Oh, you need to put a bunch of mask on." All this shit. Oh shit! <laughs> so I got tired of that shit, and I won't. I won't be going back, you know, until they lift that that ban or order or whatever that the uh, health department put on there. <laughs> But that's not the main reason why I'm making this video. I was just, I was just talking about that. Uh, the main reason I uh, come up with this video, uh, I want to talk about the traffic over there in the Philippines, man. I, know I mentioned it before, but kind of want to go into a little, you know, a little bit more detail. Yeah, I knew what the, I knew what the traffic was going to be like. You know, before I went over there, because I watched a, a lot of YouTube videos uh, on the Philippines before I went over there, so I had an idea of what to expect, which is a good idea before you go over there. You kind of get, you know, it's, it's kind of a culture shock, you know, when you first get over there if you didn't realize what it was like. I mean, you talk about bumper to bumper. I mean, it is bumper to bumper traffic, but you know. Despite the heavy traffic, it's not like here in the United States. Uh, you, you didn't see a lot of road rage bullshit going on over there. I didn't see any. You don't. You, you didn't see people rolling down the windows and yelling and cussing at people or flipping people off because they cut you off or whatever. No. Uh, you, you saw a lot of people honking the horns, which you know over here in the United States that means oh, I pissed somebody off, right? <laughs> I mean that's what that's what we do here in the United States. 
But over there, uh, when they honk the horns, it's more of a courtesy. It's to let the person, you know, that they're getting ready to pass, which is usually a, a, a little motorcycle or, or a scooter or something, just to let them know, hey, I'm, I'm getting ready to go around you. I'm just giving you the, a little a little verbal or a little, a little warning so that you don't, you know, accidentally turn or something and, and get hit. Because, you know, a lot of people will probably get hit over there in the Philippines with little motorcycles, you know. So, yeah, honking horn, it's a courtesy. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> like, like with traffic coming up here, if I wanted to turn in there, you'd have to wait for all these cars to go by or a, or a space wide enough to get in there, right? In the Philippines, it's, it's one car after another. If you want to make a turn, you just start turning. You put your turn signal on, and, uh, you know, people are going to stop for you, you know? And they're not going to sit there and yell and scream and holler and, and carry on and make a total ass out of themselves, you know, like they would in the United States, <laughs> right? It's not like that over there. <clears throat> I like that. <laughs> you know, I like the fact that people don't get all bent out of shape. But, uh, <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a whole different experience over there. And, you know, I can't wait to go back. I really can't. And, you know, like I mentioned before, you know, I'm, I'm making all these videos because I am eventually going to be moving over there. You know, I, I keep saying within the next three years, but, you know, it may be a little longer than that. I mean, I don't know. You know, I mean, I'm not saying I'm going to move over there just to, you know, blow smoke up everybody's ass. Because, I, you know, I, I'm not bullshit when I say I'm moving over there. You know? <coughs> uh, <coughs> because I already got things in place for when I move over there. You know, I'm not going to... I'm not going to reveal what those measures are. You know, those will be in future videos on what I've done. I mean, my coworkers know what I've done over there. But, uh, you know, those in YouTube world, <laughs> and even most, you know, almost all my friends on Facebook don't know what I've done over there. So that'll be something exciting that I'll be revealing, you know, later on. <laughs> but yeah, I... Yeah, I just, I can't, I can't wait. You know, right now I'm just trying, I gotta wait for my kids to graduate from high school. You know, that's the number one thing. You know, that's the number one factor that's keeping me here right now. Uh, you know, if my kids decide to go to college, then guess what? Uh, I'm gonna be here a little longer. You know, and that's okay, because I want my kids, you know, I want them to start out, you know, with a leg up, you know, in this world. I don't, I don't want them to have to sit there and struggle, you know, the same way that I had to struggle, you know, <clears throat> starting out, you know. Yeah, jeez. I mean, I can, I can make a video just on the struggles I've been through financially, emotionally. And, oh, my God, this crazy shit that's happened in my life. But, yeah, uh, <clears throat> That's that's what I'm hoping, you know, next three years, you know, at the at the most, at the most, um, it'll be, I think five years, five and a half years at the most, that you know it'll take for you know before I can get over there, and that's the most, that's that's the maximum, you know, and if it takes that long, I mean that I just you know, that, that gives me extra time, you know, to invest in my 401k. Um, it'll allow me time to, that'll inch me closer to, you know, be able to draw my social security, you know, because, I mean, I mean, it's not going to be an easy transition no matter when I go over there, you know, but I just didn't want, you know, I didn't want finances to be one of them, you know. It's gonna be, you know, a unique experience, you know, just going over to the Philippines, just in general, you know. And uh, I, I, I just, 
I want to at least get my finances in order. That's the, the number one thing. And I want my kids, you know, I want them to be settled, you know, when they get out of high school, you know, because I, I still know what they're going to, you know, I still know what they're planning on doing. You know, my daughter changes her mind every month what she wants to do. My son, he went, he's more of a techno kind of computer nerd, so nah, I shouldn't call him a nerd. He's cool. He's a cool kid, man. He's, he's one of the most chillest kids I know. Uh, but he's going to, you know, do something along, you know, computers, or he was talking about robotics, you know, something along, along that line, which that would be freaking awesome, Austin, if you do that. Belle, you know, all she talks about is moving out <laughs> whenever she, you know, graduates from high school, which that'll be, I mean, that's right around the corner for her. My, you know, my son graduates in May. That's, that's just crazy. And then my daughter will graduate a couple of years after him, you know. But, uh, yeah, I just had to wait and see what happens, you know. It'll be exciting uh, to see how everything turns out. You know, Irene, just, just <laughs> hang in there, baby, you know. You know, we got to, you know, you know all the stuff that has to happen before I can move over there, okay. But I'll make it over there eventually, baby. Okay. But, uh... <clears throat> But yeah, I just, uh, I hope that, um, I hope you guys subscribe to my channel and, uh, like my videos, uh, give me some ideas on what you like, what you don't like, you know, comment in the comment section, uh, what you like or don't like, or what you want to see, what you don't want to see, uh, let me know, and, uh, I'll see you on the next time, as before. I hope you guys continue to follow me on my journey on the road to the Philippines.